Hello everyone, Kcons here. I just saw this 1.5 floor 12 highest appearance rate on Reddit, and I was just like, what the? Only 0.4% people use Shinyan on floor 12? What? Really? As someone who uses her a lot, especially on physical comp, this is kinda mind boggling Are people just don't understand her kid? Or maybe they underestimate Shinyan cause literally 99% YouTuber slash content creator read her bad? But I think this data was taken before EULA release and only based on the Chinese server player. But even on global server and after EULA release, I don't think many people use her either. Because of this, I decided to make a full guide of Shielder Xinyan. Yeah, not a physical DPS or a burst support, but a full defense Shielder Xinyan. And hopefully people realize that Xinyan is really really good. First of all, let me show you my Xinyan build. This is a full defense build. My Xinyan has 2600 defense and 195% energy recharge. Yup, those two are the only stats you need for this build. For the weapon, I use white blind for the defense percent substat. You can also use Favonius Greatsword if you feel like you need more energy recharge. But your defense will be a bit lower. For my artifact, I use for Millilit set. Xinyan is one of the few support that can effectively use for Millilit set. I use Def% main stat on the sands, goblet, and circlet. The only substat you need are defense and energy recharge. Your goal is to have at least 100% energy recharge with white blind and triple defense percent artifacts. But don't force it. You can use energy recharge weapon or sense if you have trouble with her energy recharge. For consolation, you need to have at least consolation too. Because at C2, she can generate level 3 shield by using her burst. So you can have more consistent shield by rotating between her elemental skill and elemental burst. The only talent you need to upgrade for this build is her elemental skill. Now let's move to the next part. How Xinyan is so good while most people think that she is bad. Like I said before, she is one of the few support that can effectively use for millilit set. The attack buff from millilit set can stack each other with four noblest set. She is also a pyro character, which means she can activate two pyro resonance if we bring another pyro character. So, I think you already know who should I pair her with. Yep, he is our best boy, Bennett. Boken da Boken. Bennett is pyro, or noblesse user, attack buffer, and also a healer. So, if you pair her Millilith Shinyan with Noblesse Bennett, this is what you got. Okay, now let me test it with my Eula. This is my Eula solo stats. And this is my Eula with Shinyan and Bennett as support. Okay next, let's calculate how strong her shield is. Her shield is obviously weaker than Zhongli, it's also slightly weaker than Diona. But Xinyan can generate more consistent shield than Diona because of her C2. And Xinyan can use 4 Melilith to make her shield stronger. 
So, this is my full Dev Xinyan shield calculation. Her shield can also be used to cleanse Cryo and Hydro debuff. Her shield apply Pyro element to your character for a moment when it casts and when you switch characters out. Cryo debuff can be instantly cleansed. But Hydro debuff, like on floor 11, you need to switch character several times to cleanse it. It's not really that effective, but it's there when you really need it. Her shield is really useful to destroy Abyss Herald and Abyss Lector on floor 11 and 12. So that's why I'm kinda surprised on how few people use Xinyan on Spiral Abyss. So next, how I use her in a team comp, I mainly use her for a physical comp. You can just put Xinyan with Bennett and then put Cryo or Electro physical DPS like Eula, Kuching, Razor, and others. Then just put Cryo or Electro support for Super Conduct based on your carry. If Eula is the carry, then Fizzle will be the support. You can see this team comp in action on my channel. If you're not new to this channel, you must be seeing them already. As I use Shinya and Bennett combo on my all physical team comp. But she is not only used for a physical comp, she can be used on many team comp. For example, I also use Xinyan to support Hu Tao on Elemental Mastery Focus team. I can also use her on Melt Ganyan team comp, and many other team comp, but those would be for another video. But despite all that, she also has a little bit problem. She mainly used for a physical comp, but physical comp always bring electro for super conduct. So, you can trigger overload if you bring Xinyan. Overload is kinda annoying on small enemies. But the more you use her, this is not a really big problem. Trust me. That's it for this video guys. I hope people can appreciate Xinyan more. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more Genshin Impact content. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.